What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. So another work week down here at the Auto Shop Life. Want to shoot a quick video. I actually was able to go all week without cleaning down the box this week and I did it for a reason. Got a great company to send me some product you want to check out. Check it out after this. Shut up and sit down. So before we get into it, I just want to show you the box real quick, show you, you know, the problem spots, you know, obviously they get greasy, obviously some of the more drawers that I pull out, you know, some of the more common drawers that I pull open, you know, towards the ends here when they're, where it's close to the bay, you know, on this end, not only that diagnostic cart, but this cabinet takes a hit, you know, from oil splashing on there, working on cars, what have you, you know, and then same with this side too, not as much as that side, but get into some of these drawers and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up try to hit this on a certain angle and especially with the flat black you know it definitely shows the grease spots I mean fingerprints you know some of the stuff's here that the camera's not picking up the dust from the week you know and I try to wipe this box off you know weekly if I can um, you know in the beginning obviously it was daily every other day and things like that but you know we've been busy here lately you got a decent Grease spot over here, and then dust sits on top of the hutch, you know, the workstation when I have it open, you know, dust gets down in there, camera's not really picking it up too much, but I want to show you a couple steps how I handle this, you guys have seen some of my other videos, you know, using the snap-on cleaner, Windex works on the flat black, the company, the box cleaners, sent me a little care package, now, a lot of people think, you know, and I guess I'll be the guinea pig first to try it out, and I have, but a lot of people think that, you know, obviously it's a kit you get here, you know, and, uh, you know, for the kit, it's mostly for those gloss boxes and all that stuff, but the spray, the waterless spray that they have in the, in the box here, you know, it does work on flat. You know, I've tried it. It does work. Um, we'll get down. We'll show you what comes in the package. You know, I give you guys prices. I want to say they're around 30 bucks now. Great company. I'll put the links down in the description to them. You can follow them on Instagram at the Box Cleaners. I'll get their website down there. I'm sure you guys have seen it out there. If you haven't, great way to clean your box. I'm using this stuff all around the shop. I not only use it, this was the last thing I used it on, was tried it on the flat color. It does work, not the wax. You'll see it in the box, but the regular waterless spray, using it on Steve Box, using it on the tire machine, we're using it on the tire balancer. You can hit up the rims with it. I mean, this stuff not only smells great, but it definitely, you know, cuts those fingerprints, cuts the dirt away, you know, the grime, the, the dust, all that stuff. You know, it, it, I mean, if it's a stain, obviously, you know, you got to get into something heavier, but you got to be careful on these flat colors. You know, I'm not going to put anything abrasive, any kind, no kind of abrasive cleaner. I ain't spraying brake clean on my boxes. You know, neither should you guys or, you know, anything out there. Some of those, some of those, my older carts, you know, I'd hit up with maybe PB Blaster, WD-40, get them wiped down, gives it a nice shine and all that stuff. But you want to do it the right way, check this stuff out. Let's dive down. I'll show you guys what's in the box. So this is the package they sent me. Came with a nice box. Neat little logo. You can see Deal Snatchers LLC, probably the company name. The box cleaners. It's got that like 80s, 80s logo, you know, font to it. The happy little clean box there, shining away. You got the one-step pad, probably to uh, you know apply the wax or whatnot, to wipe off the wax. For you know, in my case, obviously with the flat black toolbox, I haven't used this yet. Um, I do have sprays. Like I said, we've. Uh, me and uh, the Rust Belt Mechanic, we did a collab with these guys with tool heads and all that stuff. So you tool heads guys, you guys know about the spray. We had them in the box. I think that was uh, April or May, whatever that was. But this is their little care package. Obviously, some cards. This is where you find them on. Theboxcleaners.com. I'll also have this in the link in the description. And then, uh, you know, the Instagram. They also got a Snapchat and all that stuff. So it's got the little wax paper in here. And it looks like we got, this is the stuff I was talking about, the polish and wax. This will be more for, you know, the, the, the boxes with the gloss or the shine to it. Obviously, I'm not going to be using this 
on you know a flat black box color but uh, you know this stuff will work great on Steve's box car paint you know any kind of paint you know anything with clear coat on this stuff will work good nice protective wax on there and then in the back it pretty much gives you you know description how to use it uh, recommended use the ingredients and all that stuff your Surgeon General warnings and all that stuff don't eat it probably causes cancer in California all the good stuff on the back and then we got my favorite here, the waterless wash and wax. This stuff's got carnauba in it. You know, it's not only smells great, it smells like, like a tanning salon or something like that, um, or the beach. It reminds me, I think it's like a coconut flavor or something like that. Definitely smells great. Um, but same thing, gives you a description how to use it on the back. It's an eight ounce bottle. It says it right there, it's kind of covered out. Eight fluid ounce bottle, uh, made in the USA. But this is the stuff that works well. And then you also got, we got the uh, microfiber towels. We got, looks like a purple one or a pink one here. Can't really tell on the camera, maybe purple. You guys let me know down in the comments. Definitely, uh, you know, stitched around the edges. Definitely quality built. And then it looks like they sent me, I think a heavy duty one too. This one feels a little softer. And that all comes in the kit. Nice wrapped up in here, but we're going to go ahead and use the pink one here. We're going to get the spraying away on some of these spots here. See if the camera picks it up before and after. You can see the 60 inch, all the spots there. You know, obviously, I usually use the Snap-on cleaner with this or, you know, Windex works great on the flat box colors. You guys know that out there. Windex pretty much, you know, gets the job done. You know, nothing that's going to ruin the paint or anything like that. But I'm going to get this camera set up, run through this thing for you guys, show you guys quick before and after on this. All right, guys, so nice little bottle. It's got a little locking tab on there. You push it to unlock, probably for childproof. It's got a nice little mist when it comes out, and then it just it smells great. Coconut flavor, but I, I like to be generous with the sprays, concentrate on certain areas, but definitely put enough on there on the flat color. I noticed you want to put more on there, and then make sure you got a clean microfiber towel and just wipe it in. It's got that carnauba wax in there, so it, you know, it puts a nice shine on it and it, you know, it feels nice and smooth. You know all the, the dust is off of it, but you can see it takes it right off. And if you wipe it good enough, you know, with a clean, you got a clean rag, when it dries, this is how all the sprays end up, but when it dries, it dries with no streaks. And I'll bring the camera in closer to see, but cut away all that to get these handles. Shut up and sit down. There you guys go. You can see all the grease spots are gone. Trying to get it from every angle, let the light hit it. You can see it cuts through the grease. No streaks. Nice shine to it. Feels nice and smooth. Works great. And I want to show you guys here. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna spray it and hold the camera close. I'll show you how that you know it looks like it's gonna streak, but then it doesn't. It goes away. So get a nice spray going on here. And then you get the wiping away. Let me pull out so you guys can see that. And you can see all the streaks disappear, just like the Windex, just like the Snap-on box cleaner that I use. Got all the dust off down here. And it works great. No residue. There's no residue left over. But I'm going to finish knocking out this side real quick. You can see a quick before. All along the snap on here, all that grease at the top drawer. You guys know I'll be working on that top drawer. I'm definitely opening the socket drawer. Putting work in on that everywhere I can. A lot of grease underneath here. All right, guys, let's time lapse through this real quick.
All right, guys. And here's a quick after. You can see, cut down on most of the grease at the snap-on. All the major grease is gone on all the drawers. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, guys, so there you have it. That answers the question. You know, the waterless spray, you know, you guys out there asking if it works on flat black colors. It obviously does. You know, I'm, I'm not sure if they got ones out there that, you know, particularly for flat box colors, you know, flat colors in general. They might have a kit coming out in the future, but for now, the waterless wash and wax definitely gets the job done. You guys can see it clearly before and after. I mean, if you guys are picking up the dirt on this microfiber, it definitely picked up a good amount of dirt, but Definitely got it done. Big shout out to the box cleaners. Follow them on Instagram. Links will be down in the description. Go ahead and wrap the rest of this up. As always, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.